Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm joined by Vince Ingenito. What's up everyone? And we got to play NBA 2K14 on PS4, the next yeah. version. It's 1080p, 60 frames a second. Gorgeous. Both on Xbox One and PS4. We happen to play PS4. But as you can see here, Vince, the trailer was not lying. The game does look amazing. This is real life. This uh, is the real deal. You can see the uh, the reflections on the court. The lighting is improved. The uh, the player models themselves are, are ridiculous now. The materials on their jersey. Yeah, the jerseys up close, which you really you will not be button skipping through the little the little between play nope. close ups and replays. You want to see one. every little bit. It is unbelievable. I liken it to the Fight Night Round Three effect. Absolutely We're perfect analogy. On Xbox three sixty you know, eight years ago, Fight Night Round 3 came out. It looked so good that even if you weren't a boxing fan, you had to try it. I feel like this game is going to have that same effect. Even if you're not a basketball guy, you're going to just have to try this because it looks so good. It's that and tech showcase that's going to make everyone jealous that you have a next-gen system. Of course, what matters is how it plays. Sure. And for better and for worse, Vince, tell me if you agree. I feel like it, having just reviewed 2K14 mm -hmm. on current gen, I feel like, look at that bench reaction, oh, by the so way. Good. Unbelievable, all the detail. It's, that stuff was not in the, in the last generation. All the little touches. But I feel like, for better or for worse, it plays a lot like the current gen version. And it's, but it's a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah, I mean, you gave it, what, a 9.3 in current yeah. gen version? Yeah, I mean, that's not broke. <laughs> yeah, now do you agree? I mean, the, the biggest core gameplay difference for me was that the players felt more planted. They didn't feel like they slid around at all. Like, they really feel like they're on the court. And, Absolutely. Uh, they really, you know, that you so you can't just twitch one way or twitch the other. They feel like they're on that court, planted. Yeah, and it, and it really affects the way you go about handling your character. You can really feel when they're going one way or when they're going another. Um, it just makes the whole thing more tactile. Now, uh, this is a brand new game, new engine, uh, and thus different game modes. This is not a port up. So there is uh, my GM, which is almost like a role playing game of being the GM of a team. You yeah, control it's so interesting. You control everything from, of course, player salaries, moves, mm -hmm. trades, to the price of concessions. I can really <laughs> see myself getting into that mode. Get lost. Also, in that. a uh, a new my player with they recorded all sorts of crazy cutscenes and dialogue. Dialogue and a whole story. Yep. That kind of was a little cheesy to me from what they showed, but we'll see how it plays out. Jury's out. out, jury's out. And then finally, they teased a uh, a 100-player online at the park where you can go play pickup games with other real players five on five. Did that that look crazy? That looked crazy. I'm looking forward to seeing how that pans out in the long run, but it looked like you could just go to a pickup uh, a park and, and just have at it with anyone that's there, so it's really cool. Plenty more coming on NBA 2K14 next gen right here on IGN.